all right so now we are ready to go perfect now let's do this let's proceed with the downloading of the example data sets okay of course there's a project and so before we even download the example data sets, we need to make sure we have created our directory so i'll say make dir and i'll say trimming then i'll cd into trimming perfect so now i have my project directory and i'm in it so now what i have to do next is to download the example data sets i'll clear the screen first to make sure everything is okay and then i'll proceed to get the example data set so let's go back to the browser i'll show you where to download the data sets so come to this page the link to this page is also in the description box so when you are here i want you to scroll down scroll down to this section it says data upload you can also scroll down further but i can just click this data upload it will send you to that section so when we are here scroll down scroll down and we are going to find these ones here you see there is this and there is this we want the smaller one which is the sub sampled one we are going to take the first two we are dealing with paired and read so we need a read one read two so these are the ones we are going to take so i'll start with the first one i'll copy the link i'll go to the terminal and then i'll download i'm using linux by the way so i'll say w get and i'll paste the link there and i'll run it so this is a small file so we just have to wait for it to get done and we can get the read two all right read one is done so we need to get the read two so let's go back to the page and let's copy and then let's go back double get and we supply it with the link so this with two so we run it and then we will get our files okay so we have our files let's clear the screen let's ls and we are going to find our files here these are reads all right because we are also going to train we need to make sure we organize our files so these are raw reads all right so let's create a directory called raw reads and then let's move these files there so i'll say mv star dot fastkill sanga and i'll say raw reads so now if i do an ls i'll see my directory raw reads if i ls into it i'm going to find my files all right these are the raw reads it's important we run fast you see to assess the quality and then we can now compare to the trimming so that we are all on the same page so let's first run fast qc it's always important to run fast qc to assess the quality first okay in some situations when you run it will be okay so you don't need to do further processing all right in some cases you run it will do further processing all right for this tutorial and the context of this tutorial we are only going to compare before and after trimming so that's why we are running fast qc so i'll say Fast QC, raw reads, star, dot fast sanga. I can also do just star, that is fine. This will also run all the files, all right? But if you have different kinds of files in a directory, then this is where the extension comes in. So in my case, I will be specific. I'll say star dot fast sanga. I repeat, the star also works in this situation, okay? So I'll run this and then FastQC will take the files and analyze them. These are small files, so it will take less than a minute. It's done. Let's clear the screen. Let's ls into raw reads. We will find our FastQC report. So we have an HTML file and a zip file for each. That's what we have. So I want us to open the HTML file and then look at the reports. So we will use our file manager so raw reads i'll go into it i'll see my html file so this and this i'll open the read one so there's it okay so there's read one so everything seems okay and we have these two 
exclamation marks telling us something slightly unusual has happened anyhow for this tutorial i want us to focus on the per sequence quality i want us to see the effect that trim galore will have after trimming so i want us to look at the per base sequence quality for illumina reads the quality of the reads all right it's starts deteriorating at the ends of the reads so that is why here we see this change it's deteriorating it's becoming lower and lower all right so in some cases you may want to trim and remove you may want to trim the ends all right to remove those low quality ends okay those low quality bases at the end so that's what we are going to do in this tutorial to use trim galore to show an example of trimming all right so we are going to trim and after that we are going to compare the quality the overall quality of the data of the reads before and after trimming so this is for read one let's look at read two we have a similar observation so again we see that the at the end the quality is low so we are going to trim the reads we are going to trim and then after that we remove those low quality ends that's what we are basically going to do okay so that's where trim galore also comes in so we will run trim galore now so we'll go back to the terminal and then we'll run trim galore of course if you're going to run trim galore you need to make sure you know the usage you know how to use it so on this page we have instructions that let you know how to use trim galore so we have quality trimming adapter trimming there are other ones here okay so in the in this tutorial we are going to use a very simple command okay because for beginners you need to start something simple and you can gradually build upon it it's a demonstration so we are going to trim with some simple commands and then after that you will proceed to uh, customize so with trim galore there are different options available when you scroll down you see them here let's just check whole list of options for trim galore so when you check the options it depends on your needs then you select the appropriate options some of the options have default values for example if you want to trim the low quality ends the default first call is 20. so if you want to go higher or lower you can modify if you don't specify anything then trim galore uses 20. we also have the thread we have thread 33 which is the default we have thread 64 if you want to specify that fine there are other options adapter different ones for adapter i'll focus on adapter for now for adapter if you don't specify anything then trim galore will try to auto detect and then trim those adapters so in this tutorial we are going to use the default settings which is allowing trim galore to auto detect that's what we will do there are other options too here another option we will look at is the outputs directory where we are going to save our files our trimmed reads and then we will specify another information we are dealing with paired and reads so we need to let trim galore know okay so that's it and then we specify the read one read two okay so let's get back to our terminal and then let's do this we have our first your files read one read two and so this means we are dealing with paired and reads and so if you want to use trim galore to trim the reads you call trim galore underscore galore and we will specify that dash pad and then we give the options all right it's also important that because we are going to trim you need to have a separate directory that will store the trim reads it's very very important so if we do an ls you have our raw reads we need to get that directory also created then we can proceed so i'll say make their trim reads so the trim reads this is where we are going to store the trim reads okay so now we can run trim galore for trimming so we will say trim underscore galore that's dash pad 
and then i'll say dash q quality i'll just specify 20 it's the default so if you don't specify 20 will be used but i'll just specify it here all right and then we need dash o for output directory so here it's going to be trimmed reads we need that information other information that we can specify is dash dash base name of course in this tutorial i'll skip it but it's important you know that so the base name let me just show you it should be somewhere here so it should be here let's scroll down we have the base name here yeah so base name allows you to customize the names the output file names okay so if you want to customize you can use it in this tutorial i will skip it we also have course which allows you to speed up the trimming process i'll also skip this for now because it's a small file so all these things are there for you to check them later if you have if you also want more to rest you can always book a session with me that's fine okay the link is in the description box okay now let's get back so we have this all right this is what we are going to use and then we specify the read one read two so read one so that we raw reads and then we specify the file which is this one here and then read two so we give the path which is raw reads this is read two so this becomes the command i will use for trimming all right so once we do this we can execute and when we execute trim galore will start doing this work so this is what we are going to see and of course once it's doing this work it also indicates reports so it tells you what has been done so we have the report indicated here okay so you can save this to an output file all right and for the most part all these ones have already been saved so there's a file which contains this all right so take notes these things are important if you want to go deeper into what has been done to your data your files for example here we see total reach preset read with adapters number so this sense allow you to better understand what has been done and then it can also help you to identify potential issue that's the essence of quality control all right so just take note of that now let's clear the screen when we ls we have our train reads ls into it and we are going to find your output so we have the reports the ones that were displayed on the screen and we also have the train reads themselves you notice that the same sample names have been used okay the raw reads had their sample names so the same names that have been used in addition to other names to help us distinguish between the raw reads and the trim reads so this is for the reports for read one so i can do a cut it's a simple test file so i can say cut trim reads i can specify that one here so trim reads one fast yeah so fast kill sangha trim yeah so there's it so there's the file you can do a cut to display the contents all right so let's play the screen let's ls into trimmed and then proceed you can also view this using your text editor that's fine all right and we have our fast kill files which are this and then this again you can customize the names that is subject for another video okay so now we are going to run fast qc on the trim reads and we can compare to see the effects all right so i will say fast qc trim reads star dot fq now the extensions are dot fq so that's why i'm saying star dot fq so i'll run this and then fast qc will analyze the files for us and then we can compare okay so this is also done let's clear the screen let's do an ls into trim reads and we are going to see our fast qc reports we have them here so what i'm going to do is to go back 
So this is my main project directory. So this is the train reads. When I open it, I'll see my HTML files. So I'll start with read one, which is this one. I'm going to shift this to the session so that we have the two read ones adjacent to each other. Okay. So now this is the raw reads, the, the raw data, and this is the trimmed one. You can see there has been a change. Let me enlarge this a bit. So if you take a look at this session here, for read one, we see we see everything here, right? We see that there has been a change, which I will say is improvement. So those low quality ends have been removed. So now we see that they are within the green region. All right, so just as we see here, in the trim galore page, all right, we see after trimming, we see them, there has been some improvement. So the same thing here with read one, we see that there has been an improvement because those low quality ends have been removed. So if you run your QC, fast QC, and then you will see that some the low quality ends are there. You will find a presence of low quality, or you find a presence of reads with low quality ends. Then one of the strategies is to improve your reads by trimming those low quality ends, to remove those bases. Okay, and then you can proceed. So you need to decide which situation is appropriate, or you can consult. You can consult your by informatician and then they will help you to or guide you to do the appropriate activity okay so this is for trim galore tutorial and so if you also have multiple samples then what you want to do is to write a script that allows you to automate the process all right so you can use tools like nest flow and then snake me which are workflow managers to help you automate the process if you have multiple paired and samples that will help you or you can also book a session with me and we can look at that as well all right with fast qc it's also good if you are able to aggregate them we have reports now we have a total of four reports two for the raw rates two for the trim rates so ideally it becomes easier for you if you can put all these reports into a single report and then compare them and easily compare so there's a tool called multi qc that allows you to do that so if you want to learn how to aggregate fast qc reports using multi qc then check the video right here